When you work with time views, like these two time views, you can add events. You have two types of events, graphic events and analytic events. Analytic events are graphic events with analytic properties. Analytic properties will be demonstrated in the next tutorial. To add analytic and graphic events, just use this toolbar button and e-analysis opens the right panel with three parts. Analytic to add analytic events, graphic to add graphic events, and library to save your analytic and graphic events and to share them with other users. To add a graphic events, select the second tab and choose a graphic event. You have various types of graphic events. For example, I use rectangle event, select it and drag it and drag it in a view. Then when you select it, you can move it. You can change the size of this event and the right panel shows you graphic properties. You have five tabs. The first tab is for very general graphic properties. The second tab is for text properties because you can add a text in the foreground of each event. The third tab is only for specific graphic events. And the two last tab will be shown in a next tutorial. With the first tab, you can change the layer. You draw each event in the layer, then you can have different layers. By default, you have five layers, but you can add other layers. You can decide to change the color of your event. You can have also a gradient color with different types of gradient color. You can change the type of border, for example, with one color of this border. In text tab, you can add text to your event and you can change its properties. You can also add analytic events. Analytic events uh, is analytic events contains graphic events, but these gra graphic events are grouped in categories. In musical and analytical categories, you have different categories here. For example, I can use a sound object from Pierre Schaeffer theory. And then you have the different categories here. You can also have different subcategories. And then you can add an analytic event with the same action than graphic event. You click and drag it in a time view. Of course, after you can also change the property, the graphic properties of this analytic event. The particularity of analytic events is that this event contains also analytic properties in analytic tab here. These analytic properties will be demonstrated in the next tutorial. You can also add it to your library to use it uh, in the other project or to share it with other users. To do that, you select your event and you select Add to Library toolbar button. You have to create a category if you have no category before.
and then this event is now in your library. To open library, you select events toolbar button and library tab. And then you can find your new categories and your event. Then you can use it in another part of your analyze or in another project because this part of e-analysis is common with your all projects. To export a category with event, just select the menu File and Export and then you go to Library Category part, you select your category and you click to export. And to import a category from another user or from another of your computer, you select File Import and Library Category and then you select Import button to select the library you want to import.